Food agencies across the globe are responsible for us having fresh and delicious food at our disposal. With over 7 billion inhabitants on this gracious planet, it's an odious task for essential foods that meet our nutritional needs to be distributed at efficient costs and effective methods. Hence, food agencies greatly modify the food we eat to meet this demanding quota. Keep watching this video to find out about some delicious foods prepared with some bizarre ingredients. Ice cream. Hope this doesn't ruin anyone's childhood. Particularly, vanilla ice cream has an outlandish ingredient that is responsible for its fragrant aroma. Castorium, a slime that is secreted from a beaver's anus, is an important ingredient in vanilla ice cream. This chemical has a distinct smell that is similar to that of vanilla, which is why it is harvested as a fragrance. What's more surprising is that castorium can be extracted from a beaver in fluid-like stream. Basically, beavers can be milked just like a cow. Castrium is extracted from the castor sacs from beavers. The fluid is basically a combination of urine and other anal secretions from the beaver. If that isn't unappealing enough, the US Food and Drug Administration has no problem with the additive. It has even been used in ice cream and other foods for more than 50 years. Beer Beer is not a food, but we all get the gist. Anyhow, America's favorite alcoholic beverage contains propylene glycol and isinglass. Propylene glycol serves as an ingredient in airplane fluid, and isinglass is a substance refined from dried fish bladders. Both aid the brewing process of beer, but it's apparent that beer wouldn't taste the same without these ingredients. While breweries are not required to disclose their ingredients, it has been proven that these substances are found in beer and make it enjoyable for the millions who drink it. Many beer companies keep their ingredients a secret, which has been detested by food experts. Also, some beer companies use other additives to darken the color of their beer, and the compounds of these ingredients are unknown. And it's henceforth under investigation from the FDA. No one knows what these companies are hiding nowadays. Chewing gum whether it's for fresh breath or for the love of chewing something, chewing gum can be found in the pockets of many people across the globe. What's more surprising is that chewing gum manufacturers love to obscure what they put in their products. Is it because they have so much wonderful products that they don't want to tell? Or is it because of some weird ingredient that they are hiding from consumers? To break the silence, chewing gum contains lanonin, which is a fancy chemical name for sheep oil. For all of the unbelievers who can't fathom chewing on the secretions of Mary's little lamp, buy some chewing gum and look at the nutrition facts. Gum base is a common ingredient found in chewing gum, which is used as a softener. However, what's hilarious is that gum base is an euphemism for lanonin. Therefore, food manufacturers can't really be trusted. McDonald's Apple Pie we finally reach McDonald's, the god of the fast food industry. McDonald's is notorious for having the chemical agent l in their pies. According to a VRG member, McDonald's has disclosed that its pies contain l from an animal source. That's pretty obscure coming from such a revered fast food restaurant chain. When the correspondent asked a McDonald's representative to elaborate, they simply said that they had no other information regarding the subject. Furthermore, l is derived from only three sources. Those sources are hawk hair, human hair and duck feathers. That means that the only animal sources that l could have been contained from are hawks and birds. Whatever purpose this chemical serves, McDonald's pies sure are tasty. Potato chips Does the FDA sound familiar? The FDA is aware and allows sodium bisulfite to be used in potato chips. Sodium bisulfite is used to bleach potato chips to their optimum color. It also keeps vitamin C from breaking down, which is useful in many ways. Food companies are so reliant on this chemical that they have pleaded with the FDA to continue to allow its use. They have claimed that banning sodium bisulfite would ruin their business, thus harming the industry. Without sodium bisulfite, potato chips surely will not be the same, so it's no wonder why the FDA doesn't ban the chemical. Unfortunately, that's all for today. See you tomorrow. Bye.